come along with 90 from the family to Krups, the world's largest dog show. Started in 1891, this show is one of the best dog shows you could ever go to. Held in Birmingham, England, we decided to spend two days there to see as many dogs as we could possibly see. As a family, we love going to great shows, and this, this was one of the best. So if you ever watched our Barmouth video, you know that Blair and I really like dogs. We really like dogs. We have a nice little miniature poodle at home. So with that in mind, and since we like dogs so much, let's go to the dog show. We have a big evening planned for today, but first we have to get some new clothes for the kids because everybody decided to have a growth spurt. If you've been keeping up with the family, you know that we're on a pregnancy journey. Blair is pregnant with twins, but we still have four of the children that we have to take care of. So we have to keep them appropriately dressed when we get ready to take them out. And our kids have an annoying habit of growing. They just won't stop growing. They keep getting bigger every day, every week, every month, every year. You turn around, you need to buy them new clothes. Things are too short. So you're constantly buying new clothes to kind of keep them looking the way they should look and not like little hobo children. Blair's not with me today. Right now I'm looking at some shoes. I think these look really cool. The thing about it though is that she's starting to slow down. So we go and we find a place for her to sit down. I'll let her sit down and then I continue to shop. Let me show you, let me show you where she's at. Take a look. Okay, so some really cool shoes, but none of them fit me. All right, I just go with what we have. We're running out of time. We have to get some food, and then we have to get on the road because we have a long drive to get to our location today. Oh, wait, no, no. Blakely. I forgot. They're tapping shoes. They're like Yes, they are. They're called. Let me see you tap dance then, Brent. Go ahead and tap dance. Let's see you move. <laughs> Might want to work on that a little bit. <laughs> mm, okay, good job. Yep, mommy filmed it on her phone. Okay, so we're heading over towards the afternoon, but it looked like we've arrived. However, it's wet, it's dreary, and it's rainy. Which is kind of come here for England, no problem with that. But we're kind of far away from our location. We had to park pretty far away, and now we're just trying to catch a shuttle. Although we've attended dog shows before, such as at the Kent County Show and at the Great Yorkshire Show, we've been to small dog shows like that at the county shows. But this was our first mega dog show. The first thing we noticed coming through the door to the exhibit halls was, of course, all of the exhibitors at the halls. It was some of everything you could imagine, all things dog related, dog food, dog treats, dog bowls, dog beds, dog spas. It was some of everything. It wasn't quite overwhelming because we've been to great shows like this before, but this was so dog specific and dog focused and there was so much of it. Oh, so really nice everybody with frozen quality, frozen raw food for dogs and cats the best thing of walking through the exhibit hall was oh, all of the dogs like there were that. dogs like everywhere beautiful dogs every kind of dog imaginable and we got to see dogs we've never seen in person before such as this afghan hound which i have never seen an afghan before i've only seen them on television but right there in front of us was a beautiful afghan hound yeah. more frozen dog food Oh no, nah. this is what, I really like this, so I have to pick up, and I like this gear. This is some Cruffs t-shirts, which I think I'm going to have to at least get a t-shirt. Alright, let's check out some of these shirts, guys. These shirts look really cool. Okay. There's some more nice t-shirts, just Cruffs Kennel Club, that's nice, browns. Oh, there's a nice jumping dog there, that's really cool. I love the fact it has a year on it, 2023. Well, that's just a nice t-shirt right there. I like that a lot. So, Blair, which one? Oh, what's that one, sir? It, it just says Crofts. Yeah. Yeah. Which one? They put some t-shirts somewhere. So, this is our first time at a dog show. It's a ton of dogs. A lot of fun. Yeah. Let's go this way. Let's follow the Sky Terrier. We'll just walk around that way. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, there's tons of great looking dogs here. And we haven't even made it to the main show floor yet, but we wanted to see as much of this exhibit hall as we possibly could. Some nice collapsible dog bowls over here in beautiful colors here. This is great. Those are some nice little wood like to play. Watch out, watch out, let them get through. Look, they have the, so I think the main arena is back there. Well, you can see this huge grin on my face, guys. This is the most dogs I've ever been around in my entire life. We've been wanting to make it to a dog show for years, and this is the first opportunity. And this is rated as one of the largest dog shows in the world. It's a four day long event. This is this third day, and it's gonna continue on to tomorrow. We have the best of show. Wow, this show is so massive. This is such a large show, guys. Such a beautiful show. And I look like there's an arena over here, a small arena. We might walk over and check it out, see if we can find over here. I think there's a small show going on. Let's go see what we see over here, guys. It's hard for me to overstate how large this show hall was. This was a massive space and the organization that it would take to pull it all together. I'm always impressed when I see large shows put together like this because I know there's a massive team of people who worked tremendously hard to make all this happen and it, it all came together so well. Oh, I think we're gonna miss it. I think it just concluded. But look at these beautiful little cuties right here. Look at those little guys there. Beautiful little dogs. There were some beautiful dogs at the show, but of course our first loyalty is live with Peppa, our miniature poodle. So we picked up a harness for her, some leashes, and other things that we think that she would enjoy. Size here? I have my colleague down earlier. No, not the smallest. Um, Didn't you just get both? So this, no. So this is so 30. Okay, so we just picked up a really nice raincoat for Peppa. Let's see what else we can get for Peppa. I mean, it's all here. We're going to get as much of it as we can. Top dog. But there's no actual dogs involved. No, it's purely for it, but it's a reasonable question in this surroundings. <laughs> so inside you've got um, 61 letter cards. Okay. So all of these, all of the letters here yeah. in multiples. Yeah. And you've got 18 action cards like those ones to add a bit of mischief into it. Okay. And you, know, you just keep pulling cards? You, so what you do is you, you, you're only allowed to hold four cards in your hand at a time. Okay. There was a vendor selling a really cool dog related game. It just kind of pull the cards, flip them, and it's, it, the kids enjoyed it. I liked it. They've been playing it nonstop since we've gotten home. Are they Irish wolfhounds? Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at the size, look at the size of his paws. He's called Aldridge. Yes. And he's 17 months old. 17 months old? 17 months old. Wow. This is his mum, Elsie. Yeah. And she's five and he weighs about 86 kilograms. Yes. So he's, he's, he's right out of puppyhood. He is, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So is he is he going to get uh, bigger? Any bigger? Um, probably not. He'll probably. fill out. Fill out. Yeah, yeah, he'll fill out with it. Probably won't get any taller. Yeah. Wow. It's a beautiful dog. I've only ever seen him on TV. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> very soft. Very docile. Yeah. Love camera. Love lying on the settee while you're watching TV. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. Yeah. Crufts is really cool because it is a televised event. So after walking around the halls, we actually went to the main central hall where they were doing the actual last shows for the dog displays and best in breed of those type things. So we went to spend a little bit of time there. However, it was really late by this point for us. We've been out all day and it was nice. It was quiet. It was calm. It was just a peaceful environment for us to enjoy ourselves as a family. We had a really good time. And I think Blair, I think she kind of took a nap. I'm pretty sure she, she took a nap.
So guys, it's a pretty good show. We're ending up early. We cut out a little before the hounds are finished. But a couple things I noticed here. First, they don't call the dogs by name. They call them by their number. So if the dog is up next, it's the you know the breed, and then one one seven nine, which is different because the U.S. is going to give them the names, and they all have these long, sophisticated names. So that's a little different. Also. There are so many different breeds of dots in here that I've never seen at a U.S. dog show either. I've never been to a U.S. dog show, but I look at them on TV, Westminster's and others. So this has been a great experience, and I hope we're able to make it back to the best of breed, which is tomorrow. After a beautiful dog show, it was time to take everyone home. Okay, guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day. So we're back now with day two at the Crips Dog Show. Today is going to be toy and utility dogs, which is going to be those kind of dog breeds that don't fit into other categories. Huh. Let's see what this show is about. Check out this part of it today. Also, Blair is with me, the kids are with a sitter. So it's just going to be us running through the day. It should be a great experience. So we're back for day two, or day two for us at the dog show. I want to go find some cool Kongs for Papa. There were over 21,000 dogs on display at this show. Crufts is massive and there were so many dogs. If you're a dog lover, you would have enjoyed every moment of this event, especially if you enjoy dogs and people because there were plenty of both. Should be her size. Oh, that's it. Number 30. This is different. This is thicker with the light. Yeah, it's thicker with the light. I like that. I mean, all the small ones are going today. All the big ones are going the other day. Mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah. what's the YouTube channel? I'll check you out. Unlike uh, other dog dog waste bags that leave residues and micro microplastics, uh, these these completely degrade within ninety within, days. Within ninety days, yeah. yeah. So once once they're once once they're used, they'll degrade completely, and they're uh, in, totally environmentally friendly. They're plant based, made for plant based. Products. Okay, okay. So. Uh, you can check us out online uh, on tableazers.co.com. The best part of going back for day two is that we went back earlier in the day so we could see a lot of the dog specific breed shows and those are really cool to see the different breeds up close and see all of them, so many of them all at one time was great. Yeah. What color do you like? I guess the pink. Pink? Or the blue. The blue. Or the blue. And after two days of walking around a wonderful dog show, I came across what had to be the best dog in the entire show, who's just given up and was like, this is it guys, I'm taking a nap. And it was so cool because he was right in the middle of the walkway and everyone just walked around him as he took a break. So Blair and I have been doing a lot of walking today, just walking around looking at all the different dogs that are on display as they go through their different competitions. We're now sitting down. There's going to be an obedience show starting up. We're getting Blair up our feet a little bit, just going to take a break, look at the obedience show, and then we're going to walk around a little bit more. You know, as people who spend a lot of time at county shows, this is very reminiscent of a county show. As we've seen the car, with the, we've seen cows on display, we've seen sheep on display, and this is very similar to that as the, the, cow, as the animals, in this particular case, the dogs are going going through the show, it looks really similar. So it's really cool to get to see so many Yorkies. They're everywhere, full coats. It's gorgeous. One of the first dogs that I ever owned was a Yorkshire Terrier, so I'm a huge fan of Yorkies. So Blair and I was so excited to make it to the Yorkie show, and it was just so many of them, and they were all beautiful. This is one of the best parts of the show overall for us, was to spend all this time just looking at all these beautiful little Yorkies.
So Blair and I have been there for several hours today and we're about to get something to eat about 2 p.m. But it's been a wonderful show so far. Let's see. We're going to this place called The Edge. Hopefully the food here will be pretty good. Ordered a lamb kofta salad. It's warm. It has some quinoa, lettuce, uh, mint yogurt, cucumbers, peas, and pomegranate. So we just finished lunch and now we're back off to go and look at the different competitions with the different dog breeds. Hey, if you've never been to a dog show, I highly encourage you to go check them out. They're a lot of fun. There's agility. There's not just a special breed dogs as far as, you know, rare breeds and things of that sort, but there are also some other dogs that are just plain dogs. They have other things and activities for those dogs that wouldn't fit in any other category as well. So if you just want to do something, I think this would be a great opportunity to do something a little different. Now, one of the best parts of the show was to see the different dogs and their own unique individual personalities and temperaments. And there was this one little dog that just was not having it. It was not their day. They were not going to participate. It's like, no, I don't care how to be trained. I'm not doing it. When I think of dogs, I think of terriers and I think of poodles. I mentioned we have a miniature poodle here at home, so I was so glad that we were able to see the poodles on display in that full poodle cut that you don't normally keep your dog in, but it's great for exhibit. So we just spent a whole day just going around and looking at all these different wonderful dog breeds and we got to see so many wonderful dogs. It was a great overall experience. This wasn't just a long day for the people who were showing dogs or the people attending this show. This was also a long day for the dogs and I love to see the dogs there just kind of take a load off and just sit back and relax a little bit. After two days at Crufts, I have a better understanding of mega dog shows. Guys, this was a great experience. It brought together dog lovers and dog enthusiasts. And as the show continues to grow and become more and more popular, I can see it going on for another 100 years. I'm looking to go back next year, and I hope to see you there. This has been a great two-day adventure. Like and subscribe for more like this. See you next time.